I don't normally do too many of these small clips, but check this out. Okay, this is really ugly code, um, but let's get it up and running. Show you what happens. Because it's mega exciting. Just got this working just this minute. Cube is falling very slowly. Got quite a small gravity on this thing. Oh, there it goes. Bounce, bounce. Oh, is it going to go over? No, that's really weird. <laughs> it went over last time. Does physics change each time you drop a cube? That's really fascinating. So this physics is running server side. So you'd think that it would be the same every single time, but it actually rolled over last time. It's going to do this time. Oh, oh, that's really weird. Maybe it was in my head. No, it rolled over and it finished just here. So I don't think I've changed anything. That's really odd. So now I should just be able to change my gravity, which is currently set to minus 9.8. But um, so actually it should be falling at the, at the speed of the earth kind of thing. I don't know whether or not I've got some kind of friction or something going on. <laughs> House is carnage. Let's make the gravity huge and let's see what happens. Does, does extra gravity not make it fall faster then? You'd think that it would. Oh, there we go. Doesn't bounce quite so much now. Awesome. So it did bounce. It did take itself off the Z axis a bit. So if I pivot up, you should be able to see that it's dead on the Z axis. And it's falling down that Z axis. Hits the floor. Rolls over a bit. And then it rolls back putting it slightly off center. That's brilliant. Well, that's all I wanted to record. Um, there's an achievement. So that's um, physics in Calisius on the server side using Canon JS. Awesome.